Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hasbro and Pixie for everyone that's new to my channel. My name is Monique and welcome back and thank you so much for tuning back in to my existing subscribers. In today's episode, I want to show you my new humidifier. It is from Kaima and no, it's not paid promotion or anything. I just, I, I blended the um, humidifier I had before. It was fantastic and I love the white it had. So with a humidifier, let's just break down a few things that are, I'm not sure what um, you guys are looking for, but to me, um, I just list the most important thing I believe are very important if you do buy a humidifier and I would not purchase a humidifier that hasn't got those features. So one of them is, and the reason why I didn't go back to the one I had before, I ordered it online and brilliant, an absolute fantastic, I think I had it for about two and a half years and <laughs> It broke down just, I think it had a couple of years of warranty, but um, so the motor, it was um, really noisy and it made this sound and the mist didn't come out properly anymore. And I leave my humidifier on during the day when I'm not here. Same with um, this light setup. So it all comes on except the, um, the heat pad there that is on a different um, circuit, so it's on 24 hours. So the lights turn off and the humidifier is plugged into just a normal power plug. So if I do run it and the lights turn off, the humidifier still runs. All right, the features I love with a humidifier are you need a humidity step, very important. What that means is your humidifier, so say like you set your humidifier, it will actually read the humidity your room has. So then you can, oh, I got a hygrometer like this, where you see the humidity, oh, it's the ring light, you can't really see it that good. So it shows the humidity here and the, um, Temperature, super cute. I just love the look of this one. So humidity set, it will actually, so you set your humidifier. I think I set, my, I set mine on like 75% humidity. And once the 75% are reached, the humidifier will actually turn off. So then it depends what's going on in your room. If you have lots of plants, so the humid, my humidifier is not on at the moment. And my meter is reading it's at about 60%. So I had it on all day yesterday. The humidifier is just down there. I'll show you all the features in a minute and how I fill it up. It's absolute great. So yeah, humidity step is one thing. And most of them actually do have it. And it just saves you from refilling and then also your room doesn't get incredibly like your humidity doesn't go through the roof and then yeah it, it depends what you want but i have in my plant room also a couple of extra ceiling vents so the hot air can actually go through the roof and i don't get mold in the room i all most of the time have my window cracked a little bit open so the air can exchange and I have a fan sitting here as well it's off at the moment so that comes on with the lights as well and I find if you have air circulating you have less midi bucks I've noticed it they're far down in the corner where the air is not so much circulating there's always <laughs> midi bucks and I just yeah, clean that corner out and the most important part, uh, I never dealt with 
spider mites. And I didn't use a humidifier for about maybe eight months or something like that. And I had spider mites. This is still one of the late spider mites do not like moist environment. So if you have your humidity up, most of the time I can guarantee you, you won't be dealing with those nasty bugs. Okay, back to the humidifier. Um, it's, it's a black one, but what I love, it's got a big water tank. So I love the humidity stat, big water tank, and then you have a timer. So you can even set it like one hour, two hours, three, all the way up to 12 hours, and then it will automatically turn off. But let's just refill it, and then I show you, it's really easy to use. I, mean, I actually never read the menu, I'm not sure <laughs> if you guys do the same. I, yeah, I just sort of press every button and wing it, and then if I can't figure it out by pressing the buttons, I will read the menu. So it's super easy to use. Guaranteed. All right, let's just grab the reservoir and fill it up together. So that's the um, how it looks. And the top. It's got like a little handle at the back and then it pulls apart. And at the back, <clears throat> this is something I kind of quite like. You see how full it is. So if you want to use essential oils, you have like a little um, part here, but I um, haven't really been using it. So let's fill up the reservoir and you always fill that up from the bottom. Really handy that it's got a handle here where you can pick it up. So I use filtered water, so that's where you fill it up. So that's basically sitting under the water thing upside down now. Mowed the lawn today. Thank you to the guy who mows my lawns has a YouTube channel as well. And this is the um, user menu. So, and remember how I showed you this little side bit on the side there, I'll show you here, um, it comes with these little, so that's where you sprinkle your aromathe aromatherapy drops on it, and then you can put it in, there you go, this is the reservoir. So I'm trying not to fill it up all the way to the top here, just where well, it's finished there. So yeah, leave that and then we just screw it back on. With the lid, don't screw it on, just make it hand tight because it has in the inside a bit of a rubber. And because you flip it upside down, it will actually, yeah, if you tighten it too much, you have problems opening it, just so you're aware. Excuse the lighting. And then up the top here, you have the nozzle is here. And you can, wherever, whichever way you want it to go, you can set it up. So this is power. And say the humidity is at 41 and that's, it even tells you that's ideal if I want. See it starts low and if I want it at 75, we said before, go to 75. And I think, yep, yeah, that's the highest setting. So then you have the timer as well. 
one hour, two, three, four, and then you just leave it, and then it's set. Up to 12 hours, and then goes to zero. And the other amazing function, I love, you have the warm button, so you actually have warm mist coming out. And see, you can um, change that however, but because I have the shelf there, um, I like it coming to the front. So yeah, <laughs> excuse my beans out there. Fantastic, it's um, absolutely big, like, oh, look how it's flickering. It's actually sitting at 49, I'm not sure why. I think when I go far away it's flickering, but this is how it looks like. Really amazing humidifier. I can, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I can recommend it. If you were wondering how the Kmart humidifier is working out, I give it a thumbs up. I would recommend it. I'd buy it again. Let's just um, so it has the humidity stat. It's got the um, warm mist function. It's got, and that's the that's also a um, huge bonus. My old tank, I think, had either three point five or four liters water capacity. This one has. Or go, uh, I think it's five and a half, five point six liters, which is amazing. I can have this. It depends. So my humidity already come up. It's around once it's once the humidity is in the room. I'm pretty sure this humidifier because it has the humidity stat function, so it turns off and then kicks in when the humidity drops. I'm pretty sure that's gonna stay on for maybe up to 30 hours. So I'm just gonna check it and once it's low, I turn it off, fill it up. Also, I do not recommend, it depends where in the world you are. Um, if you use tap water, you need to keep an eye on the inside where you fill it up because you have that um, the built up from all the chlorine or you know if you can use rainwater even better use rainwater I highly recommend or how you saw I use filtered water but I still get the um, it's a it's a calcium is it yeah that big white build up just keep an eye on it wipe it. Every time you fill it up, then it saves you from scrubbing your whole unit and it will stay. <laughs> yeah, amazing. I hope you like this video. Thanks so much for tuning back into my channel and watching it all the way to the end. I see you next time and please let me know in the comments below. Are you using a humidifier and have you tried this one or which one do you use? Maybe there is a better one out there and I'd love to hear it and maybe I'll try it out for another room because I'm thinking to put a humidifier in my lounge room. Alright, I'll see you next time. Until then, stay plenty. Bye!